What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit Play here on Xbox One. On the Xbox One, and we are here today because it is time for another car pack. I'm a little bit late behind on this car pack, but I did just get back from uh, a trip to New York. Spent a weekend away. It was definitely a good time to uh, get some R and R, much needed for sure. So we are here today to take a look at all of the new cars from the car pack especially is that Bugatti Chiron so uh we're gonna get into selecting the cars here we're gonna go into buy car obviously and uh right here the new cars we got in this car pack 2017 Aston Martin V12 Vantage GT3 race car definitely look forward to driving that definitely been looking forward to driving this as well 2016 Audi number 17 TTRS race car that thing looks sick, gonna be fun, and there's that big girl herself, that 2018 Bugatti Chiron. Uh, that car is gonna be fun to drive, a little under 1500 horsepower. Oh yeah, we're gonna have fun with that car. And then we got our Dodge Durango SRT8, our 1968 Holden. Uh, this car I've actually been very curious about getting into and getting behind the wheel of the 2018 Kia Stinger. If you guys follow Matt Fields and a couple other drivers, Dai Yoshihara and such, if you note know, at the auto show, they were actually drifting these Kia Stingers. They modified them with a handbrake, turned all the you know, assists off, and these things were getting sideways. So definitely going to be trying to get this thing sideways here in today's episode or the next episode if we make this a two-parter, depending on how much fun I have with all these other cars. And then we have a 2017 Power Wagon, which, uh, eh, not really excited about. It's a, it's a truck. I mean, it's a Forza Motorsports game. Don't really need a truck. So, uh, I think we're going to start off here with, we're just going to start up on the list. We're going to start off with, uh, well, we should probably save those. So, let's get behind the wheel of this Kia Stinger and, uh, see uh how this handles we are here at daytona with uh the 500 did finishing up recently if you guys watch that if you guys watch nascar you know did you like it did you like the new rules and such uh i didn't get a chance to watch it i was kind of busy and preoccupied at the time but i did uh read everything about it so uh we're here at daytona uh road course in the 2018 kia stinger we got our wheels set up NRG Innovations wheel, Logitech G920 base, and uh, we're going to get this Kia Stinger going and see uh, how this thing is. So, first impressions of the interior looks pretty sweet. So, we're just going to send it, because this car was sideways, so we're going to handbrake it in. There we go. I thought we were going to hit the tire barriers, but we didn't. So, the Kia Stinger, definitely a car I've been excited when I found out that it was coming into Forza, I completely locked the wheels up there. I forgot I have all assists off, I believe, including ABS. This car was really interesting drifting with a couple of the pro drivers, and I'm not really doing it justice, but of course they did probably some modifications to it, and uh, I'm trying to do this stock. I do like that it just gets rid of that steering wheel, but you still see the you know, toggles for the wipers and turn signals and such. Probably e-brake e that too soon. But, uh, let's see if we can't get a good one here. I feel like this car with a little more power would be a lot of fun. And probably a lot diff. But, uh, so first impressions on this Stinger, it's definitely a fun car. Uh, definitely been excited to see this thing coming in and Kia stepping up their game with you know these performance cars because there's definitely a, a big following for Kias now. They uh, have a good following with their brand, so it's good to see them coming out, stepping out of their comfort zone with this kind of car. So definitely super excited to see it in person, going to the auto show here this weekend. So hopefully they'll have one there. I believe they do. So we're gonna send this into the back stretch. I mean, pretty good speed for the, you know, stock. I mean, I feel like I want to do, probably going to be doing a full build on this car. Full drift build. Ooh. Kick it in nice and hard. There we go. I mean, 
for out of the box probably not a lock diff this car actually handles pretty well it's kind of fun to drive definitely gonna probably throw it in this first turn hard as we can I am uh, waiting to drive that uh, Bugatti for sure like I said I'm a little bit behind on this car pack because uh, I was out of town but now we're back and uh, we're uh, getting back into it getting back to the daily grind here on the channel definitely want to get on and have fun with these cars I don't think this is gonna work but we're gonna try it a reverse entry cone line nope we're gonna wreck it oh good thing those tires were there we didn't wreck it too bad did we nope so definitely feel I'm gonna be doing a drift build on this car for sure cuz this would just be a big drift taxi and I have a feeling that is what we are gonna do on another episode so it's time to uh, switch up cars and uh, get into some more cars here on this car pack and see what else we can get into we have to buy another car I could just rent them but I'd rather just buy them now I don't think we're gonna mess with the Durango or that power wagon the Holden ah, we could probably uh, do a nice little build on that in a later episode but um, I definitely want to race this Audi TT RS and uh, what better way to uh, to do it than here at Daytona on the road course, so we're gonna rip it. Ooh, that sounds really nasty. Got that big wing in the back. Got my vent rattling right next to me. That, that pillar seems like it would get in my way. Got him on cold tires, so. So this. Interior is pretty awesome looking in this car. I went to the wrong gear. Why did I do that? The interior is pretty sweet on this car. I have noticed a little bit different on these newer cars that when you go into the one without the steering wheel, it's a little bit further back now. So you're not like all the way up against the window, which is nice. This thing has such a massive wing and it handles very well. We probably should be using a different rim for this, but we're going to stick with our energy innovations wheel right now definitely want to get some of the team on or some of you guys on here maybe do a uh, spec race here at Daytona because it is a lot of fun I did get a chance to go to the Rolex 24 before and it's just a lot of fun with all these cars ripping around this thing handles pretty well I'm uh, I think it's one of the first um, Audi race cars other than the R8. I think it's the first time the TT has been in this style of racing, so it's definitely cool to see it. Coming out of the back. I mean, speed's not really there. I feel like, I feel like the Kia was a little bit faster, but this is a probably a spec down car for a specific class. Obviously it is, but the handling is definitely there. So, impressions on the CTRS? Uh, yep, I'd drive it again. Definitely probably going to be using this in some of the career mode that I know I still have to complete. See if we can't stretch the legs on it a little bit here. I feel like that uh, Bugatti is going to get up way, way up in there in the speed. But uh, this car is definitely pretty sweet. I'm kind of glad to see you know, the TTRS race car here in Forza 7. Brakes are definitely good on this car. Ooh, it's got some big fog lights in the front. I didn't notice that before. It's got some really big bright lights up in there. This thing does handle very well. Once the tires warm up, this thing is very grippy. And uh, definitely a lot of fun to drive, so going to be using this car a lot more. Maybe uh, get some online hoppers going and use some of these and do almost like a Le Mans style endurance race with some some subscribers and some of the team. If you guys want to be a part of that, let me know down in the comment section down below if you guys want to do an endurance style race here on Forza 7. So I think we're going to finish this lap off here in this TT and then we're going to switch off to the V8 Vantage and then we will finish it off with that Bucati. Oof, 
definitely excited to drive that thing. So we're going to see what kind of lap time we get with this TT since we are on a hot lap right now. The first lap was kind of uh, getting used to it. Now we're pretty much on a hot lap. Break in a little bit later. There we go. There we go. That was perfect through that section. Didn't cut the grass that time. If I run a mid to high line here, save as much uh, scrubbing of the tires as we can, but that's not going to help. Actually, I throw it in the wrong gear. Would have definitely blown the transmission if this or trans locked it, although I got on the clutch right away. So, uh, already TTRS lap time of probably about two minutes and two minutes exactly. Not a bad lap time. Look at those glowing bro rotors in the front. Definitely an awesome looking car. Definitely would like to see how that looks at night, but. Oof, that turbo though. All right, so let's switch it up. Get that V8 Vantage or V12 Vantage. I stand corrected. And uh, then we're gonna hop into that Bugatti. Oh wait, I gotta go buy a car. There we go. No, not rent. Oh, I don't want to rent. I want to buy. Get wrecked. Buy cars. Thank you. There it is. 2017 V12 Vantage GT3. Yes, I will buy that car. Thank you. And we'll just uh, hop right in and uh, hot lap this Vantage. You know, nice of them to let me uh, hot lap all these cars. Ooh. I can already sat here. It sounds just nasty. Ooh. It's already breaking tires loose. Interior is a little bit clustered for me, but this is also rear wheel drive too, so. Oh yeah. We gotta be careful with this thing, or this thing's gonna step out on us. Gonna make sure we heat up our tires, there we go. Still gonna heat up the front. Ooh, this thing just wants to get sideways if you step on it really, really hard. It's definitely gonna have to roll into this car off the turn, so. We're definitely gonna hot lap this car as well after this lap. Get one really good hot lap in this V12. And then we're gonna have fun with that Bugatti. I really need to ease off the throttle so I'm coming uh, off the turns. I need to roll into the throttle a little bit better. And check my braking zones. I do have a tendency to uh, get on the throttle a little too hard on some of these cars because I think the big wing will keep the downforce, but uh, it does uh, come back to bite me sometimes. This car is definitely quicker than that TTRS for sure. Ooh, spitting flames out the side of that car. Now that we got some heat in the tires, we should be able to uh, hopefully hot lap this car next lap. Ooh, got a little squirrely there. There we go, that was better. This thing just revs so high. Stay mid high line. Didn't miss shift this time. All right, so this car is definitely a beauty as well. Oof. Aston Martins do sound nasty, so here we go. We're gonna be in a hot lap now. I'm trying to get our braking zone there. Probably a little bit slower than I should have and a little bit too much gas so still gonna hot lap it even though we just pretty much wrecked this Vantage. Roll in the throttle so we don't blast the tires off it. There we go. I know people are probably saying you know my lines are off and you know they could probably run a lot faster and you know you're probably right but you know not too comfortable with this car yet and it's bone stock not really set up might as well just carry that drift out why not we could probably do an entire lap of drifting this thing if we wanted to because it definitely wants to step out on me a 
We're gonna finish this lap off with this car, and then we're gonna hop into that Bugatti, the most probably anticipated car. Well, it is the most anticipated car if you, from that trailer. Definitely, everybody is super excited to get that Bugatti here in Forza Motorsport 7. If you are or aren't, let me know down in the comment section down below what you got. Are you guys excited to see it? Are you not excited to see it? Are you, do you like this car pack? Because uh, I think this is probably a good banger of a car pack. Got a lot of good cars in here. Um, there's a few cars that I'm not too fond of, like the Durango and the, you know, can't even say it. The pickup truck. Yeah, that. But uh, otherwise, it's got a lot of nice cars. So we're going to be a little bit faster than the TTRS, which is understandable. And uh, yeah, let's see, how, uh, let's see how bright we can get these brakes. Yep. Oh, we are lit up all four. So now it is time to hop behind the wheel of that Bugatti and uh, have a little fun with it to end this episode off. If you guys enjoyed this episode on the car pack, let me know down in the comment section. I will be doing a, probably a full drift build on that Kia Stinger. Yes. Yes, thank you. I will take it. Oh, boy. And uh, we're about to send it here at Daytona. Ooh, hear those. Ooh, yup. Gonna take a second inside here just to enjoy the sights and sound of this thing. Oh, don't wreck it. Cold tires, cold tires. We're good. Yeah, I would hate to wreck this car right away. Oh my gosh. The acceleration on this car is insane. I can just hear the exhaust crackling. And those turbos whining. Oh my gosh. I am going a lot quicker than I thought. Okay, so definitely, uh, what? Oh, wrong button. Didn't want to do a rewind. But I guess we're going to rewind anyways. I hit the wrong button. I meant to just I'm gonna resume back into the grass. I meant to change view. Get to the outside view of this car. So we can see that spoiler and air brake pretty much this car looks and sounds amazing the acceleration is insane on this car one of the highest horsepower cars in the game if not the highest horsepower I believe there's one car that's higher oh my gosh and we are only in fifth gear and we are over 200 miles an hour. <laughs> is this going to be a stop? Oh, don't, don't wreck it, don't wreck it, don't wreck it, don't wreck it. Oh, oh. Yep, we just wrecked our brand new Bugatti. And now we're just going to send it. Alright, so we're going to try and hot lap this car. I could definitely see some issues with uh, the not knowing my braking zones because definitely have not hit this track at this speed before. Wow, that just got really sideways on me unintentionally. I did not do anything, so lost grip there. So that's definitely a, a bad time. Gonna break this down. Jeez, I don't want to hit the brakes too much, but feel like I have to hit the brakes more but this thing is insane I'm gonna want to do a little tuning to this car and maybe uh, get a bit of a track monster this car just has way too much power to be doing what it's doing I mean who, who would own a car like this? where would you even drive a car like this I couldn't even imagine where you would be able to just drive this thing like at a test track or you can't just drive this on the street because car has way too much power for the street. I mean, you could, but this thing is insane. Definitely super excited to have this car in the game. Going to be doing some uh, tweaking on this car to get this car pretty uh, dialed for me. There we go. 
I just love watching that retractable spoiler move based on the speeds and braking. I still want to know why it just kicked loose on me through the turns three and four last time. We'll see if it does it again on me this time. 217. And we're going to do it again. Wow, apparently I need to brake a lot sooner. Yep, I just wrecked the car. So we're going to try this. Okay, that's better. You need to brake way down that back stretch in this car. And now we're just setting it sideways. This car is so quick. It's almost undrivable because you have to really brake really soon and the brakes are good but I think it has you know oh that's why it's lo it's losing front grip really it is losing front grip through the through the turn I'm seeing the puffs of smoke and that's what's happening it's almost like getting airborne <laughs> uh, we're gonna wreck it so I think that's gonna do it here for this episode here of Forza Motorsports 7 if you guys like this you want to see more don't forget to jesus that accelerated comment down in the comment section down below we're just gonna we're just gonna daytona daytona 500 this victory donuts right now so until next time guys you know you can follow me on facebook twitch twitter and instagram all of which are found in the description box below and as always i like to thank you guys for watching i'm evil rabbit and this car is insane <laughs> and we're gonna send it and then i'm out Jeez, really? <laughs> That's insane.